Hello, we're History Hikers. I'm Dries. And I'm Jente. And we're at Alba La Romaine. Or as the Romans called it, Alba Helviorum. Because this was the capital of the Gallo-Roman tribe of the Helvians. Let's go and check this out. We're taking you back to over 2000 years ago. This area was inhabited by the Gallic Helvian tribe, who lived in an oppidum or fortified village on the Jastre plateau nearby. They would become an ally for Rome during the Gallic Wars when Caesar conquered Gaul. During the peaceful times afterwards, they would move to the plains and build a new capital, Alba Helviorum. They adopted a Roman lifestyle and became Gallo-Romans. We are now standing in the heart of the city, made out of grand public buildings. Covered galleries called porticos were lined around the central ornamental garden. They allowed people to move between the marble floored buildings while being shielded from the hot sun. Like all Roman cities, Alba Helviorum's streets followed a grid pattern. The north-south roads, known as Cardo, intersected with the east-west roads, or Decumanus, at right angles. This street was the Cardo Maximus, the high street, if you will. Just like high streets now, it was lined with many shops. It was wide enough for carts to travel in both directions, the tracks of their wheels are still visible. This large square was a temple and linked the administrative buildings to the north with the forum to the south. The temple is nothing but a faint outline these days and the forum sadly is no longer visible. Alba Helviorum was located near the roads, leading to many important cities like Lugdunum, nowadays Lyon, or Nemausus, which is modern-day Nim. As such, it became a major economic, administrative and religious center during the 2nd century. With the spread of Christianity, it became the seat of the bishopric during the 4th century.
The theatre was built on a pre-Roman Helvian meeting place. It would have been able to hold 6,000 eager spectators. What is really special here is that the stage is built above a stream. The theatre in Alba Helviorum is one of only three Roman theatres in the world known to have been built this way. In their adoption of a Roman lifestyle, the Helvians would construct aqueducts and a network of pipes throughout the city to distribute water from the mountains some 10 kilometers away. Dirty water was evacuated through a network of sewers built under the main street. A little to the north of the city centre lay the remains of Alba Helviorum's great religious centre. In three separate temples, Gallic and Roman gods were worshipped side by side. In 1992, archaeologists made an exceptional discovery here when they uncovered a white marble statue of a Roman emperor, probably Trajan. With the barbarian invasions of the 5th century, the bishopric moved to the city of Vivier and Alba Helviorum lost its importance. The town was gradually abandoned. During the Middle Ages a new town was built nearby, modern-day Alba la Romaine. Slowly people forgot about their glorious past as the Roman city disappeared beneath the soil until archaeological research began in the 19th century to rediscover this majestic ancient site. Thank you for joining us here in Alba La Romaine. A very pleasant walk. You can wander around freely around the Roman remains. We were the History Hikers. And like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of historic places. And we'll see you next time. Bye!